So this is it. The bombs ran out and we've been kicked back and we've returned to the, I wouldn't say it was the promised land, really it's the punishment of free to play. So at the minute, free to play, it is what it is. It does have access to necromancy, but the question is, is now the best time for you ever to escape free to play? Now the reason is, is obviously necromancy has come in, necromancy has brought a lot of things to it. And because of that, now is probably your best chance ever to progress out of free to play due to necromancy. Now necromancy is capped to level 20 in free to play, but that does mean it's brought a lot of various money makers to the game, which you could definitely take a hold of and definitely use to your advantage. So in terms of things I'd be looking to do, I'd focus in on the money making skills related to necromancy, try and do your best to pile up these money makers and do it. So what I'm going to do in quite a quickish way is walk for a few different things you could do to make a different to make various decent profits to get that bond as soon as possible. So at the time of this video, the price of a bond, if I was going to that, is going to be... So at the time of doing this video, a price of a bond is uh, going to be just under 62 mil. So 62 mil is, to be fair, in terms of a bond price, it's actually not too bad. It's quite um, quite reasonable as far as a bond price goes. Um, it's nothing too high, it's nothing too low, and it's definitely achievable in free to play. And I think it could be done in the best part of like maybe 10 hours gameplay um, because of what we can currently do. So in terms of money makers um, and things you could be doing, just standard fire making can make you profit. And by making you profit, if you were to put an ash into the grand exchange, that is currently selling for 4.2k. And it also could sell as high as 5.2k, which I've just bought. Not only that, we can look into the necromancy skill ourselves. At level 5, we were able to do the ritual for less necroplasm. Doing this with none of the multiply glyphs or anything like that will net you about 4 to 5 mil per hour. And it's definitely grindable to be able to achieve your first bond. Once you were to get the first bond, you really do push the barriers into membership. And then that opens up a variety of brand new money making methods which will accelerate your ability to make money and also to sustain your membership. Now, if you're wondering about how to sustain your membership and the best way to sustain your membership, I have a series on my channel which I will link in the description and in this video where I have started with a free seven day membership and been able to, to sustain my membership as well as build up quite a sizable bank now. This is the account I actually do it on um, through different money making methods, different things I've found in the game. And it's a really good series if you're looking to go through that method of gameplay where you literally earn GP and pay for your membership through the use of bonds. So not only that, you're able to go up to level 20 and with 20, you are able to do things like greater ritual candles, which is not the best and same with regular ghostly ink as well but it's still another form of way for you to make profit so with this little cash stack i do have a lesser, lesser necroplasm which you are able to make is currently selling for 800 gp and again like you can make a decent chunk of this i think you can make something like eight thousand per hour using no like multiply glyphs that's 6.8 mil like it will only take you under 10 hours to make a bond just from that as well. So you could just do less necroplasm all the way. You'll get yourself level 20 um, and you'll get a good start to necromancy going into members. Along with that as well, you can use your candles. If I was to find it, there it is. You can use um, your, yeah. So inks aren't an option. Inks are members. However, you can turn your lesser necroplasm and turn them into ritual candles. Admittedly, it is only the regular ritual candles, but it's still one either way. Um, and you could turn your 7G, 700 GP necroplasm along with your basic ritual candle, which is just like one GP, um, and you could turn it into 1K. To be fair, you can turn it into 1200 coins. So that's another 500 GP you can make just from doing a bank standing skill. And if you're starting with a, like not a lot of GP, that is a perfect way to like bring some money into your account. Not only that, um, in Varrock, you are able to get things called cadaver berries. Now these are used in some of the new potions and because of that, and because of the lack of supply, they have gone up and they're very easy to get. So like you go to the Varrock Lodestone. Now it might take me a second to find these, so we might jump, but I think I know roughly where they are. Ah, there we go. So if you go to the Varrock Lodestone and just go to East, you're able to pick cadaver berries. So admittedly, you are a little bit limited here because you can only pick so many from the bush at one time and then they eventually will run out of fruit. It seems that it's only two. But you do have three bushes around here and some red berry bushes as well. This is basically as easy as it comes. Zero requirements, resource collecting. And I'd be doing the red berries because red berry pie is needed at the minute for the um, training with necromancy. 
And because of that, you can make like a little bit of profit with those as well. So red berry is currently 1.2k. And your cadaver berries is really where you're going to make the most GP for that as well. Admittedly, not an absolute standout, but if you needed to make a little bit of cash to get started, this is a very good way to do it as well. And not only that, that uh, these are just newer methods to non-members. So these methods mentioned are just newer methods. They're still the, the staples as you've done in non-members before. Things like crafting will still make a lot of money through the forms of jewellery. You can still do various forms of combat, flipping all forms of different skills, but now necromancy is brought it in, and especially with something like lesser necroplasm, which can be a base of six mil an hour. Just edit in the video now. Something else which is really good and free to play, obviously, is archeology, span collecting materials and doing the cash are very good and very much in demand. So really as an overview, now is probably the best time ever for you to escape free to play. Now, admittedly, the methods I've shown are newer methods, which have been brought to the free to play world due to necromancy. However, all the previous methods which used to work, crafting, general skilling and stuff like that they're still fantastic methods to make gp for your account but while the money is so good with things like necromancy i would really encourage you to use that and move on into the members world where you can really ramp up your skilling your money making as well as access to loads of new skills again there are some people who prefer free to play and fair play to them it's uh really good if you enjoy the free to play community but, I'm just, but at the minute there's such a chance for you to make gp really quick even if you wanted to build your free to play bank while the price for the necromancy and lesser necroplasm is decent, it was a lot higher a couple of weeks ago and that was the real advantage and the real chance to jump on it. Now is the best chance for it to do it as well. Not only with lesser necroplasm, you've got ritual candles, you've got fire making for the ashes, and you've also got the cadaver berries, which are all brand new money making methods to free to play because of necromancy. Some of my guides as well are all free to play friendly as well. There's quite a lot of crafting guides. Crafting does make a lot of money with jewellery in various form of green dehyde crafting as well, which is now available to the free to play world. So occasionally for a stint, this account, the bond account did actually have to spend some time in non-members um, only because I didn't have the time available to fully utilize it. And it would have just been a waste of the money I'm going to spend on a bond. During that time, all I really did was do lesser necroplasm and I probably made the best part of 80 mil just pure AFKing for the best part of like four to five days until I had the time to go back into members and try and make as much money as possible. But like I said, if you're looking for guides, if you're looking for money making methods, or if you're looking on how to sustain your account, my channel has it all. And this series in particular has an account which sustains its own membership through in-game play and making GP. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please subscribe, please like the video, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.